nap time. Nap time saves your life. I mean, you love it when children take naps. And when the child goes through the period, which can be in this period of time, well, it will be in this period of time, uh, from uh, 18 months through uh, five years old, they stop taking naps. And you go, oh, no, not ready. It is my belief that during this entire age zone, children need to rest. That whether they sleep or not, they need to have what would be a rest time or a nap time. And I think it's important that you encourage your children to, to take a nap. And it's easy because you get busy and then you go, well, we didn't have a nap today. And, of course, then their behavior is horrible because the child is running on fumes around dinner time and uh, is melting down and all of that stuff because they're too tired. It's important that during this age zone, during the time they are taking naps, that you work your life around that that you make it possible for that child to go down. And if the nap time's at 2 o'clock and you come in at 3 or 3.30, you still put the child down because chances are really good that the child will go to sleep. And they need that rest. And once again, even when they're not sleeping, if they go down and they rest, and resting is not watching television. Resting can be be playing quietly with a toy. Um, Reading would be ideal. Something where the child's body settles down and the child's mind rests. It is important that children get enough rest. And in today's society, when they're running around all the time, you and all this energy, it's important that you invite them to rest. Nap time is, is essential. Rest time is also essential.